everybody. Thank you very much for joining me this beautiful Monday morning here in Trinidad. Right. Um, what do we have today? Well, I have a lady visiting Trinidad and Tobago. She's just here for a few days and I managed to hear that she was in Trinidad and Tobago. So we got in touch with each other and here she is. Maureen Marks Mendonca is the author of a book called Legend of the Swan Children. And I understand that Macmillan Publishers, who I think uh, if you know that you've been published by Macmillan, it means that uh, they respect you. But thank you very much, Maureen, for taking time on your few days off in Trinidad to come and visit with us, okay? Before we even get into the book and, you know, you becoming a published author, mm -hmm. let's hear a little bit about you. I understand that you're, you're a former diplomat. You now grew up in Guyana. Guyana. I grew up in Guyana, mm -hmm. studied in Canada and the States. All right. And... Um, served Guyana for, for a few years, for several years actually, mm -hmm. and then um, lived in many countries, oh. lived for a long time in Asia. Well, you know, but many people would say, uh, when you say lived in many countries, that sounds so romantic and adventurous. But others who have done it uh -huh. say, you know, sometimes you just feel a little bit displaced. How did you feel I have about never your... felt displaced. Okay. I'm really <laughs> a child of the universe, you know. I am very comfortable. I mean, I, I want to know about others. I want to know about cultures, people. So I never really, when I go to a country, I try to dig in. Right. get to know the people in the culture. You're not one of these who live on the hill and look no. down and pretend no. you're not no. even there. When you were no. a young girl growing up in Guyana, mm -hmm. um, did you think that you know your future was going to be as a diplomat or did you think you were going to be an author? <laughs> Where were you? Um, well, um, I know I, I never thought of being an author, but I, I always uh, liked to tell stories. Um, when I was a, a little kid, a friend and I, we used to tell stories in the, in the schoolyard and compete, you know, to see who could like, tell the most ridiculous um, thing. Diana, mm -hmm. and you went to school, you said, in Canada for a while? Or this yes, was, yes. Yeah. I st I, yes, I did my first degree in Canada, mm -hmm. and uh, that was mathematics and economics, double honors. Mm -hmm. And then I went to, um, and I went to Stanford to do um, operations research or masters. All right. So it's all very, that, that was all mathematical, statistical stuff, okay. which, was, which is a very vital part of me. But... Um, I felt that the other side, of, you know, after living a very pragmatic life for, for, for about uh, two decades, I decided to go back to the fun part of me, and enjoy the storytelling part of me. <laughs> authors yes. have said, um, what one gentleman said to me, he said, you know, I wrote this book and I thought it was so wonderful. I sent it to the publisher. Mm -hmm. They sent to say, yes, thank you very much. We want it. Mm -hmm. And then they said, however, mm -hmm. we're going to send an editor to I you. Got, I got the however. You got that, yes. yes. And uh, <laughs> we had a wonderful editor, yes. right? Mm -hmm. um, Joanne Johnson is her name. Yes. And um, I grew under her care, book, um, I would say. It's in the Island Fiction series, mm -hmm. yes? Yes. Uh, Macmillan. Macmillan. Sorry. Legend of the Swan Children. Um, Alex is the main character. Yes. Um, where did you find Alex? I, I, <laughs> you know, I often wonder when people write books mm -hmm. um, and they start to find their characters. Mm -hmm. Where do you find them? Where? Alex came to me. Yes. In a dream, you know, and... Um, wanted me to tell his story, you might say. He starts uh, off living a very simple, you know, fun life of a, of a young boy, uh, rowing, canoeing down rivers, you know, um, swimming with the dolphins, eating frio frio, which is uh, snow cones, you know, that sort of thing. And then um, his life suddenly changes when the owner of the plantation, of the home, of, of the great house, dies under mysterious circumstances. That's where the adventure begins. Could you read a little passage for us? I don't like yes. people to give away too much of the book because a few right. people should um, read it. But sometimes I, I like to ask our authors to, to read a passage so that we could get the feel of your style. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. so would you mind? It was Tia Lucia who stumbled upon the body beneath the sprawling tree in the center of the courtyard. Right away she summoned the coroner, who also happened to be the only doctor for miles around. He came as he was, in pajamas and rubber boots, his stethoscope sticking out of a pocket. After a quick examination of the old woman's twisted form, he looked at the angle of, of her cane on the ground, spied a cluster of juicy fruit just out of reach, and scribbled in his notebook before departing. Name, mm -hmm. Signora Lagrima. Time of death, approximately 5.30 a.m. Cause, heart attack while reaching with her cane for a mango. But no one was buying that. The scent of intrigue was in the air. Amidst the fruit-laden groves in the courtyard, down the squeaky corridors of the great house, and in the shade of the cocoa and coconut trees across the road, whispers abounded. What about the strange symbol squiggled in the rust-colored dirt 
beside her cane. Oh, nice style. Very f just flowing. And I, I mean, you were there reading and I was just visualizing mm -hmm. the whole thing of the lady. I love the idea of her reaching for a mango with her cane. <laughs> that is just so, so much part of what happens here. I hear the top in, one in, in the book, book, it says uh, he discovers that he has mystical, um, and not mystical, special powers. Yes. And I know that like the Harry Potter series mm -hmm. has become sort of like the children just live for the next Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. uh, were you at all inspired by the, the idea that, you know, this is what the children want now? They want all these magic. Um, I would say, well, I started writing before the Harry Potter series mm -hmm. uh, came out and okay. became famous. And <laughs> no, I am um, a child myself <laughs> in, inside. And uh, I've always, you know, felt the magic around me. And, and uh, so it was, it was natural, I suppose, for me to... To to go to because um, it's part of something called an island fiction series. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Mac, this is Macmillan's. You know, Macmillan. Um, they decided to uh, do um, fantasy fiction to start a new fantasy fiction series uh, to encourage um, young people to read again. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have uh, six books out. It's the six different uh, Caribbean authors. Um, mm -hmm. So this is, this is wonderful, but you know, that you, you just mentioned something there, to encourage children to read again. Mm -hmm. um, in your experience, I mean, now as an author, you mm -hmm. see the book is out there. Mm -hmm. do, do you see that um, we, we're managing to win that war? I mean, with all the, the television, the internet, everything. Yes, it's, it's really tough. And I say there is nothing that um, develops the imagination like a, book, a good book. Okay, I totally mm -hmm. agree. Very lovely meeting you. Oh, Enjoy the rest you of your so stay. Much, uh, when you're reading the book, you can say, you know, and I saw the author being interviewed.